Hi, in this video I will show you how to interface a TFT LCD with Node MCU and this is a circuit diagram. This uh, TFT LCD you can uh, easily buy in the market. This is a Chinese make uh, which is available in a very cheap cost. So here is a connection between our LCD to the Node MCU. The VCC of the LCD is connected to the 3.3 volt of Node MCU and the ground is connected to the ground. CS pin of LCD is connected to the D1 pin of node MCU. Reset pin is connected to the reset pin. Here you can see the, the ash color wire that goes to the reset pin. And the DC pin is connected to the T4 pin of node MCU. And MOSI, SDI pin is connected to the D7 pin. And the SCK pin is of TFT LCD is connected to the D5 pin of node MCU. And the LED backlight is connected to the 3.3 volt. The one pin is left unconnected. That is the SDO pin or MISO. Uh, you don't need to connect that particular pin. So first uh, we'll see how the circuit is connected physically through my cam window. So there you can see that the TFT LCD is connected to my node MCU. So let's see uh, how this works. Before that we'll see the program for this. I already uploaded my program to my LCD. So here's the program. I'm going to upload the Wi-Fi scanner program. So whatever the Wi-Fi devices that has surrounded me will be uh, displayed onto my TFT LCD screen. Uh, for that you need a library uh, from Adafruit. The library is ILI9341 library. And you also define the TFT DC pin as 2 and CS pin as 5 because uh, we have connected a, a here in the circuit you can see that we have connected a DC to D4 and the CS to D1. Make sure to change uh, DC. Uh, you can uh, have a confusion that we have connected a CS pin to the D1 and the DC pin to the D4. But when you uh, look into our Node MCU pin configuration, the pin uh, GPIO2 is D4 and the pin GPIO5 is D1. That's how it has configured in Node MCU. So let's see this in action. I'm going to power my ESP8266. I've already uploaded the program, so I'm not going to upload it one more time. So the scan has started. Here you can see that the network found, uh, have found uh, six networks. And you can also uh, see the strength of those networks. Just keep on changing. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.